Good evening everybody and uh, welcome to this video. Uh, this is a kit I've, I've bought from uh, from Maplins and uh, it's in response to a, a video I've seen on YouTube uh, about these programmable um, picks or programmable um, integrated controllers or I think it's programmable interrupt computer or whatever you want to call it but um, I've ordered it anyway it's came um, uh, I've got to assemble it myself it comes with a software uh, disc uh, which carries um, the software on it which you um, program uh, onto this I'm just having a look here, here's all, here's all the parts. Um, you program it onto, onto that chip. Um, looks a good idea to me because I used to, years ago, had to do a mess around with TTL logic and CMOS logic, and sometimes when you had to mix the two together, you had to, um, you had to interface them and um, you had to have a board the size of the thing I'm actually working on to do with, with various logic uh, chips, NAND gates, SNOR gates, exclusive NOR gates, JK flip flops and God knows what to do basically what one of them will do. I've actually looked on the, <coughs> on the circuit board and um, there's even picks that are, are 8 pins and you can even get them smaller you can get them circuit surface mounted ones which are even smaller still which would be the size of maybe that that capacitor there one of those capacitors that would be actually one of the size of the, the pick chips so it's definitely a good idea um, I tell you what's going to throw me though is the software because I'm not really into that sort of thing the circuit board here is very 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 well um, constructed it's a real thick one as well um, it's like a flimsy one, um, and the the masking on it, and uh, you can't want for better. But it's really professionally done. Um, as I say, it comes with all the parts, which um, as there's a crystal, um, there's one of the sockets. These here, I'd rather. I wish there was the round ones because uh, these ones, uh, the round ones, are slightly better for pushing in and out chips. But so these will do for now, because as I say, I'm trying to get my head around this, all this before I continue on to uh, to make uh, more um, use of uh, <coughs> these sockets. But um, that's just a serial port, which you can link to the computer. I've got to get a cable as well. There's a switch, a capacitor, and there's resistors, and there's some LEDs. And they're all going to go onto that board there. So I've got to solder this up now. I've got some very, very, um, very, very uh, low grade wire wool. I'm just going to wire wool the bottom of the board because it'll give um, the solder much more chance to uh, to set on the pads. Always worth doing. And then after you do that, then just clean it with some. Uh, uh, <coughs> some um, oh, I don't know what's it called? Some servo, servo sole or something like that, just to clean it, switch cleaner, or to clean up the residue. And then when you solder to the board, then it should be a really clean, clean operation. I suggest that uh, um, people that do uh, do this, um, embark on this sort of work, get yourself a vice, one of those vices which I have here. Um, pretty handy, one of those. And link it to your bench, and you can put the board, all the components into that that you, you need to solder. But I wouldn't say too much on this board because it's pretty much uh, a case of just putting in the sockets first of all. You solder one pin on one side, and then the other pin on the other side. Then you can go through them all and solder all the the sockets on. Then down to the uh, the capacitors and switches. And the resistors, um, and then basically um, down to uh, the uh, the few little transistors, 
<coughs> that's the way I'm going to work anyway. Um, hopefully, I'll get it done in about an hour. Um, and I'll be back and show you the uh, results. Um, pointless me showing you how I'm soldering it. I'm just going to use a soldering iron. Um, there's plenty of videos on YouTube to show you how to solder. Basically, get a good hot iron, about 25 watts. Uh, 25 watts, it's nice and hot. Um, Antex iron. Um, always use these, pretty good quality irons. Um, always use uh, one of these as well to hold the iron. And it actually does more than hold the iron. What it does, it, it takes, it dissipates the heat from the iron when um, when not in use, so the iron doesn't get too too hot. I use one of those sponges, solder sponges, and I've got a little bit of water there. And I put the sponge in the uh, under the iron, in the hole down. This when I need to put a bit of water in, just squirt it in. Keep the uh, tip of the iron. I, I'm a firm believer, but in this as well, this is solder. I know it looks a bit scruffy. <laughs> it's solder, pa um, solder, solder uh, powder. Uh, it's a flux, and basically it just tins the tip of the soldering iron and keeps it really uh, clean. So that's what you're looking for. Is a very very clean operation. Um, because you've got to um, work through it sort of like um, pretty speedily to get the uniform sort of uh, so, uniform sort of uh, uh, result. So, um, without further ado, um, that's by the way that's the front of it, and that's the back of it. <coughs> without further ado, I will carry on now and I'll solder this up, and I'll be back hopefully with a finished uh, item ready for. Uh, Plugging into a PC and seeing uh, what's uh, what's going to happen. Um, I've got a few things in mind about what I want to do with one of these chips, uh, and uh, well, if you can come up with any ideas, any inventions, or any applications for these sort of chips, um, anything to do with MIDI or or music, give us a shout because uh, that's what I'm into. Okay. Thanks for watching so far. Don't forget to uh, check back for the uh, second video. Bye for now.